Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Sunflyer 2 completes first flight with Simmons electric propulsion motor. AirVenture 2019 celebrates the 50th anniversary of the 747 jumbo jet. And Sun and Fun brings drone show to this year's event. Welcome to your Friday edition of Airborne Unlimited. I'm Skylar Vanell. On February 8th at Centennial Airport, just south of Denver, by Aerospace's Electric Sunflyer 2 successfully completed the first official flight test equipped with a Simmons electric propulsion motor. The Sunflyer family of aircraft aims to be the first FAA-certified practical all-electric airplanes to serve the flight training and general aviation markets. Simmons will provide electric propulsion systems for the Sunflyer 2 airplane, the 57-pound SP-70D motor with a 90-kilowatt peak rating and a continuous power setting of up to 70 kilowatts. Back in the spring of 2018, Sunflyer 2's program application to the FAA was accepted under FAR 23 certification criteria. Current flight test focus areas are propulsion systems, envelope expansion, and system optimization. Globally, Simmons Aircraft Technologies has previously equipped European light and sport aircraft with electric propulsion systems up to 260 kilowatts for test purposes. They are developing propulsion technology and power classes up to 10 megawatts to enable electrification of aircraft in the commercial air transport sector. When we return, we'll take you around the patch. Based on the popular Sling 2 LSA, the Sling 4 was designed to be the most practical and desirable lightweight four-place experimental aircraft on the market. Find out more about this 115 horsepower turbocharged airplane at AirplaneFactory.com. The controversial Mars One Ventures, which planned to send people to Mars, has gone bankrupt. The Mars One Ventures was the for-profit arm of the Mars One mission with the goal to colonize Mars. But on January 15th, a court declared the company bankrupt. It was listed as a dormant company with less than $26,000 in its bank accounts. In 2018, Embraer delivered 90 commercial aircraft and 91 executive aircraft for a total of 181 jets. On December 31st, the firm order backlog totaled $16.3 billion. On the BizAv side, Embraer launched the new Praetor 500 midsize and Praetor 600 super midsize business jets, with the Praetor 600 expected to be certified and enter service into the second quarter of this year, followed by the Praetor 500 in the third quarter. Hartzell Engine Technologies has broken ground on the 10,000-square-foot addition to its headquarters in Montgomery, Alabama. The expansion will increase the facility to 86,000 square feet. The addition was needed as new products are introduced, rather than just adding on to the current production area. The goal behind expansion and upgrades is to allow the consolidation of the product engineering, quality, planning, and purchasing groups. Phoenix Skydive Center has won its FAA Part 16 formal appeal against the city of Casa Grande on a discrimination claim. After an investigation, the FAA determined the city's action to deny Phoenix Skydive Center DZO Luther Kurtz access to his skydiving business was discriminatory and violated the city's FAA grant obligation to accommodate all types of aeronautical activities. The FAA's determination was released back in December. And that wraps up today's trip around the patch. When we come back, Florida's Sun and Fun brings a drone show to the lineup and Air Venture celebrates the 50th anniversary of the 747. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, 
Safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. The 50th anniversary of the Boeing 747 will be celebrated at EAA Air Venture Oshkosh. Several Boeing 747s will make an appearance at the event with flybys and displays on Air Venture's showcase, Boeing Plaza. It will showcase the airplane's appearances over the years at Oshkosh that include jumbo jets from as far as away as Australia, New Zealand, and even Iceland. The creation of the 747 came in the mid-1960s when Pan Am founder asked Boeing to design an aircraft that could meet the rising demand of air travel, which was outstripping the capacity of the Boeing 707s used for long-distance routes. The 747 made its maiden flight on February 9, 1969 and entered airline service less than a year later. The airframe has been continually upgraded over the past 50 years to the current 747-8 model, which has been selected as the aircraft the U.S. government will use for the new Air Force One. Specific aircraft and programs in conjunction with the anniversary will be announced as they are finalized. The annual fly-in convention is July 22nd through the 28th at Whitman Regional Airport in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And our final story of the day. Airshow fans at the annual Sun and Fun International Fly-In and Expo in Lakeland, Florida can look forward to something special. The first public drone light show performance at a Florida air show. The Great Lakes Drone Company will fly over 60 specialized aerial robots at the evening air shows. A drone light show has been on the top of the list for fans, and this year the event is proud to bring the cutting-edge performance to the audience. Sun and Fun organizers are confident the aerial light display will be this year's most memorable event. The Sun and Fun Star Dance Spectacular will take place during the night air show and will begin at 7.30 p.m. on Wednesday, April 3rd, and again on Saturday, April 6th. That wraps up our show for today. If you have a story suggestion, go ahead and send us an email at news-spy at arrow-news.net. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you back on Monday for more Airborne Unlimited.